Hi, Bother Brigade. Here's what's bothering me today. The Queen has died. Operation London Bridge is a go. And in the video that you can see from November 9th, 2021, where I outlined everything that's going to happen, that is now happening. So please go watch that video. Do me a solid in that regard. But here's why everything now is bothering me today. Everything has gone the way of the dodo bird. It is now front and center. The Queen is dead. Long live the King. It's King Charles III. He's using his Christian name. And we all just have to now accept that we live in a 24-hour news cycle, at least here in Canada, all about the Queen and how wonderful of a monarch she was and all these tales, you know, just, oh, geez, so great and wonderful. And it hasn't even been a day and I am already sick to death of it. Enough is enough. I get it, right? On some level, I do understand, right? As far as a monarch goes, yeah, she did a pretty good job. She's the longest reigning one, relatively, from her perspective anyway, scandal-free. So I get that there's a lot of sympathy for the lady who people, you know, grew up with and watched get old and die and be, you know, saddled with terrible children and relationships all around her while she seemed to be the only one keeping her shit together. However, this is all, all these stories are skipping over the very real problems with her as an institution and the crown. I'm already seeing lots of people say, oh, you know, now's not the time to talk about abolishing the monarchy. Now's not a time to bring up Prince Andrew being a terrible, awful person for being a pedophile, allegedly, so that I don't get into too much legal trouble here. All this stuff is being like, you know, no, 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 we can't talk about that now. We can't talk about housing and affordability. The queen just died. One of the wealthiest, most, you know, expensive landowners ever just died. And we got to really talk about it for a long time. Anyone else already, like you see my point of how exhausting this is? But crucially, here in Canada, right, there's another aspect to this that I haven't seen talked about, and I want to address it right now. A lot of people, for whatever reason, seem to be able to separate Queen Elizabeth the monarch from the crown, the institution. However, functionally, they are the same. Queen Elizabeth is the crown. All right to, you know, govern on so-called Canada is because of the crown as an entity that people decide to believe in due to history and precedence and paper. That's it. And so I'm really tired of no one talking about the fact that, oh, Queen Elizabeth, so great. She is the crown, or rather she was the crown. So she represents all terrible atrocities committed against indigenous peoples under the concept of the crown. It is the crown as Queen Elizabeth that is taking indigenous kids to court. It is the crown, you know, Queen Elizabeth, that decided, hey, you know what? We should just randomly steal indigenous children. That was the 60s scoop. Oh, hey, it's the crown that says, oh, no, 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 no. See, you have to actually live on this land and we're not going to honor the treaties and we're going to continue to fight you. And all the various abuses and ongoing genocide and all these terrible, awful things and the refusal to like acknowledge and honor the treaties all of this stems technically from Queen Elizabeth and yet there's nothing about that in any of the news cycles it's all oh you know she came and visited our quaint little town and she was very lovely and nice it's like yeah hey I don't doubt that but let's actually talk about what she represents she is the crown that same crown that overwhelmingly exploited Africa and Asia. It is the same crown which sought to displace and dispossess indigenous peoples. It is the same crown that uses its privilege as the crown to hide certain matters, including financial transactions from government, preventing itself from being accountable. That is the crown. That is Elizabeth II. That is King Charles. That is everyone before and everyone who will come after so long as the monarchy remains an institution. All these people say, oh, you shouldn't talk about abolish the monarchy. Why not? If not now, when? I already know a lot of people aren't exactly huge fans of King Charles III. And here's the other kicker about that, right? Her Majesty the Queen, you know, sure, she's a mom. And so she's protecting her children, including the aforementioned Prince Andrew, who is allegedly a pedo. So, yay, great company that she's keeping here, protecting this guy and paying off people and making sure that no one can actually get too close of a whiff into the royal palace. 
this is all just so ridiculously obscene. And yet, oh, no, she was there for a long time. So, you know, we got to automatically give her respect. And I'm sorry, but no, you don't actually have to. You're under no obligation to do so. Because functionally speaking, right, if you truly, in your heart of hearts, believe in democracy and equality, then you absolutely should be anti-monarchist. It is a position of power and authority ordained supposedly by God and won through bloodshed. It caused so many wars like the wars of succession in European history. It's using divine birthright as opposed to anyone who is the most qualified could theoretically rise to the top. It clearly says otherwise if you believe in and support monarchical institutions. So no... This isn't, you know, oh, they shouldn't talk about it. We absolutely should. And unfortunately, no one's talking about what needs to be talked about, such as all the wealth and exploitation and the amassing of wealth by her family under her reign and before her reign. It also is all the blatant disregard, really, for not even talking about what the crown is and represents both present and past and how it is still impacting people to this day, especially here in Canada. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II is dead and the monarchy, quite frankly, should die with her. But unfortunately, a lot of people still aren't talking about what should be talked about with regards to the monarchy and telling us we shouldn't have certain conversations because we need to keep focusing on an old, rich, dead white lady rather than the myriad of other far more pressing concerns. We need to remember her life and how she led it as opposed to all the harm that she and the institution she as the crown represented has come to pass and again her 70 year long reign. All that and more should be part of the conversation but it's not and that's what's bothering me today.